Welcome to Post Fight with Ray Thompson. This show is powered by MMA Crypt and MMA Mental. For more interviews and podcasts, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, MMA Crypt and MMA Mental. You can also follow MMA Crypt on Facebook and Twitter. It's at MMA Crypt on Twitter and MMA Crypt on Facebook. To follow me, it's at MMA Mental on Twitter and Ray Thompson on Facebook. I'm now joined by Paul the Titan Taylor. Paul has a big fight coming up this weekend at UCMMA 40, where he will defend his heavyweight title against Thomas Zwinski. Paul, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, you might. Thanks for having me on the show again. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, thanks, uh, my pleasure. We're a few days out, out now, so how are you feeling so close to the fight? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling awesome, right, to be honest. Uh, I know it's sort of, it's sort of cliche thing to say that, you know, that I'm the best I've been for a fight or whatever, but, you know, you sort of programmed to say that, but I really am. I'm, you know, I've, I've trying so hard for this because, you know, it's a big fight for me, so I'm definitely feeling good, man. Talk a little bit about your training. How's your training gone? Who you've been training with? Where you've been training? And what are you doing on your final week uh, as in ready to get, to get ready for the fight now? Because you don't want to push yourself too much in your final week. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've, I've, I've been obviously uh, training at uh, Team TSG. Well, Team Sure Grip. They're a bigger mad at me if I put Team at the start. Because um, it's actually Team. So, yeah... Uh, it's been good down there. I've just been training there. I've been with uh, staff, Walter, um, Big Lloyd, and uh, Daniel Rosotta. Um, so I've been getting beat up quite a lot down there. Um, and on the odd weeks when uh, when I wanted to brush up on my wrestling, I'm on the other thing going down to uh, ISW where um, Adam Parks and obviously the coach down there, Darren Morris. Um, you know, I've just been there, going down there and doing some wrestling as well. Uh, there, so it's been a really good camp. Um, also, as well, um, I've been coming back home, and you know, I've got um, a new stand-up coach in uh, a guy called Leroy Moss. He train, uh, he, he owns a Force One gym in Birmingham. Um, you know, he's he's been working. You know, never needed him really. He's in the middle of the night, he's been doing middle of the night pad sessions and, and all crazy. You know, he goes. Uh, a hill sprint in, <laughs> in the middle of the night and stuff so he's been absolutely massive um, as well to me in this uh, all the preparation for this fight and you know uh, he's played the biggest part as uh, anybody so I've had a really good camp to be honest for this for this fight I feel amazing so just just looking forward to it now. I know it's fair to say and of course I've, I know I do follow you on Facebook to get the best training you can get, you have to travel around all over the UK. Uh, how hard yeah. is that for you? With you know, your, I know you've got a young family, and how important yeah. is it that you keep doing that to improve your game? Um, I mean, for me, it's essential because um, the lack of, of um, really good heavyweights in the Midlands area. You know, uh, if, 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 I, if I wanted to be real and, and pursue this, I have to travel. It's absolutely essential because of just purely the lack of the lack of heavyweights, you know, but it, obviously, you know, it does affect me, uh, leaving my family four, four days a week, five days a week, um, you know, the newborn, the newborn baby and all that, so it's, 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 uh, it's hard work, it's hard work for, for Kate as well, the other half, so, but, but it's, it's, we know it's essential, you know, I've got to be real, if I'm going to be fighting uh, heavyweights, I've, I've got to find the best heavyweights I can to try and even, I believe that, you know, I've, um, I've got that at the moment, you know. I, I do. I, I travel with some. Uh, I train with some amazing, uh, amazing talent, you know. And, and you know, I'm, I'm thankful for them for sort of letting me in and into their gyms, you know, and, and, and letting me be part of their team. So it's good, man. I mean, you mentioned some of the names there, and two of the names have jumped out to me. You mentioned Stav and Walter. I know yeah. they're two uh, big names on the UK scene. How, how how have they helped improve your game? Um, to be honest with you, I mean. I, I too much away about the way they do things um, because they're quite private about the training but it, it, it's pretty full on there you know um, if, if you're not fit or you're not ready you're going to get your ass kicked it's that, it's that kind of gym they don't take no prisoners sort of thing it's got a reputation for it the sparring's the sparring's probably the hardest I've ever I've ever experienced at any gym you know that, that, that's the way that thing that's what the way the coach Daniel was at a um, you know, that's the way he pro programs his fighters, just to, just to basically just fight, spar, fight, 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 you know. So 
and that's why they're so successful as a fight team because it is it is proper hardcore down there. So uh, you know they've improved my work, uh, my work ethic, and everything like that. But, you know, because because I, I struggle, I, you know, I'm tired down there because it's it is insane. It's tough, bar, and it, it's brought my game on. Um, you know, a lot really has on my fitness. So. Now, I know for as long as I've been following you, boxing's always been a really strong uh, aspect for you. How how much has it improved your game working with Leroy Moss? Um, yeah, Leroy is just great. He's, it, as I say, I think it's just the volume of training that we've been doing. I mean, I, with me, I never, I never normally have dedicated padmen up to my fights. You know, I just normally, I normally contact um, a guy called Darth Porter. He's also um, he helps with my stand up as well. Uh, well, he has in the past loads. Um, and he has a, you know, I've done a few sessions with him up to this, but I've never actually had anybody like Leroy who who's helped me with the stand up. You know, I mean, he, you know, he, he, he doesn't charge me a penny. He's he's just glad, he just wants to help me, um, you know, succeed and whatever. But he's he's been a big part in that. He's proper structured my my, my stand up out for me. You know, like um, we have proper structured one to one classes, like just my stand up. We're trying to improve certain aspects of it and. You know, it, it has been it's been massive to, uh, a massive help to me having him uh, having him with me. Now, I think it's worth noting as well this the fight that was coming up this Saturday. You're facing a really really uh, big heavyweight, and I know you a lot of time you always, when you fight the guys that are, sometimes they or a lot of time they are bigger than you anyway. But this guy's particularly big, Thomas Sawinski. What do you know about your opponent, and what's your view on him as an opponent? Um, I mean, from the few videos that I've seen of him um, on on YouTube and stuff. And actually, I mean, I know Thomas as a person or whatever, yeah, and you know, he's, he's a good guy and he's sort of fearless, you know, he'll fight any man. You know, he's fought some uh, top competition, you know, like Neil Grove, and uh, he's, also, he's also fought Stav. You know, the guy will come and bring it, and, that, and that's the way it is with him. You'll either have, I don't know, he, he just seems to bring a, a different Thomas every time and improve Thomas as well. He seems to. He's, I don't know. He's, he, he's improved. He's lost loads of weight, and he just. I think I'm going to get the, the best Thomas that, that there ever has been. Do you know what I mean? Because he has been improving every fight. So uh, I'm expecting a hard fight. And if you don't put him away, he just keeps going. You know, he's one. He's one of them people. It's literally, you know, you just got to <laughs> knock him out to finish him because he will just keep going. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, and also dealing with his size and. You know, I've probably never, never really felt a guy like that, to be honest, uh, with that much bulk. So it's interesting and it's and it's fun, to be honest. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking forward to the challenge. Now. Also, I mean, you 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 were awarded the belt under controversial fashion, of course. Your your previous opponent pulled out uh, quite late on, uh, and the promotion at UCMMA awarded you the heavyweight belt. Uh, you were reluctant to take it because obviously I spoke to you on the night, but you obviously did take it. Uh, how important is this title defence to you because of those circumstances? With you, I didn't have to do this fight, uh, you know, because I, 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 I don't suppose you've heard, heard a few rumours or I've, I've, I've spoke to you about it in the past or whatever. Um, I got sent lined up for this after, and you know that's already going to take place. Um, so I didn't really have to take this fight, but I couldn't, ha I couldn't have that belt. And when I'm when I'm old and grey, tell my grandkids, oh, I won this belt, I, you know. So for me. It's a big thing. It's it, 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 it's going to close the book on it, and it's you know, I'm going to say, you know, I, mean, I can actually say I fought for the for the belt. You know what I mean? Instead of instead of training for it, which is all I ever say now to people. To be honest, I don't really tell people that I'm I've got the title. I just I don't mention it because I'm not really best pleased how it happened. So, um, but at least for me, it's a big thing. You know, I can I can close the book on it. So yeah, I, I fought for that, and, and I've earned it. You know, I've gone to London. And, and, and put my neck on the line to, to fight for it. So it's a big thing. It's a big thing for her. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now you, you mentioned there about rumours. I have heard some rumours. Uh, I, I was going to say, is there anything you could you could discuss with us? Are you, are you able to tell us what these rumours are? Uh, no, nah, not at the minute. To oh, be honest. you're a tease, uh, Paul. <laughs> no, it's just um, I've been told not to, to say anything at the minute. So. Uh, just sorting the things out with them. So, um, but something you know, I'm, I'm obviously going to be fighting somewhere else. So, 
after this. So it's going to be an amazing opportunity. It's hopefully going to give me a chance to, to finally do what I said I was going to do, you know, try and change my family's life and, you know, and achieve something in this sport. So well, look, all, all, I can, all I can say is a big chance coming up for Well, I look forward to hearing more about that. Maybe we can talk a little bit after the fight and you can let, let us know what that is. I look forward to hearing that. Yeah, definitely, mate. No problem. Well, I'm really looking. I'm really looking forward to the fight. I mean, I am. I've got my ticket. I'll be there on Saturday. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a really good card. I mean, UCMMA always put on some really good events. Anyway, uh, I went to a, the previous one where you were going to fight as well. So I am really looking forward to it. More so, of course, because you're headlining. Uh, what else can we look out for on the card? Any other fights you're you're particularly looking forward to as well? Um, yeah, the, the, the Ben Smith and uh, Tony Giles fights. So I think everybody's looking forward to that one. Uh, that that one's one that. Uh, that I'm interested in as well. Um, who else is on there? Do, 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 do you know I've, I've seen a rumour that Carlos Vemmel is on the card, UFC veteran, against Carl Kinslow. Oh, that's so, I'm, I'm really tired at the minute, right? Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, I've trained with um, Carl Kinslow, and he's he's got a big task in uh, Vemola. But I, I think Vemola doesn't realise what a task he's got in Carl Kinslow, you know? Yeah. So... That is also going to be a massive fight. I totally forgot about that fight, to be honest. Yeah, it's going to um, it's going to be a great night. They always have some good fights and some good finishes on UCMMA, don't they? Definitely, it's. I, I, I like it. I think it's it's, it's still a top promotion. It's, it's been there. Um, it's been there for donkey's years. It's not going to, you know, Dave O'Donnell's one of the top promoters. He treats everybody good, so you know, and his shows always sell out, and it's a good atmosphere. You know, he's got he's got a good recipe, so it's. You're right, mate. It's, it's always a good night at the truck, so. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, Paul, I really appreciate you giving me your time today. I can't, like I said, I can't wait to see you come and fight. It's the first MMA ticket I've brought for a long, long time, so I am really looking forward to coming yeah, to see this event this yeah. weekend. Right, can I just say one last thing as well, please? Yeah. Just a quick mention that I forgot earlier about uh, part of my team. Yeah. There's, uh, there's one guy that I forgot to mention. Um, he's a Like I say, I really appreciate you giving me your time. But is before you, let, I know there's a lot of people that help you. Is there anyone? Is there anyone else you want to thank before I let you go? Yeah, just my sponsors. Um, there's obviously too many at the minute to mention, um, but you know, uh, with, with eight, my sponsors and and uh, people who support me, who, who are going to buy a ticket to come down and see me, uh, watch me fight. You know, um, I just thank you all from the bottom of my heart because without you guys, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing this. You know, I couldn't. I just couldn't be doing it. So, a massive thank you to my sponsors, particularly. I know. I know. You know. I'm just picking one out here, but these people pay for everything. Um, you know, my train fares and to go wherever I want in the country. You know, give me money. Um, you know, support my food and things like that. Wherever I go, uh, and that's pretty much. So, I just wanted to just mention them because uh, obviously they they do they do they do massive amounts for me. So. So Mike Littler and Phil Littler, uh, thank you very much also for uh, for what they're doing, you know, because it's a little change in my life and allowing me to do this. Well, I really appreciate your time today, Paul, and I can't wait to see you defend that title on Saturday. 